All right, I figured because there's going to be days where, you know, I'd like to start uploading more daily and can always do full scripted videos because they usually take a couple days to do. So I'm going to start doing some of these, uh, you know, reading some news articles and talking about them a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. So something I've seen that's been going around recently has been this company um, trying to bring extinct animals back. And this company is called Colossal Biosciences. And there's a few species that they want to bring back. The dodo is the most recent one. And this has become news because the company has raised $150 million um, to research what they need to bring this bird back. The dodo is a giant flightless pigeon, basically, that came from the island of Mauritius. And was wiped out because people killed them all. And there is the ethical debate on whether or not we should bring back extinct animals. And because these guys are pigeons, it should be one of the easier ones to bring back. And they come from eggs, so it's not going to be as difficult from what I understand. And they're just going to make a giant pigeon. I mean... Is it going to be exactly a dodo? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But it's pretty cool. Um, gene editing techniques now exist to allow scientists to mine the dodo's genome for key traits that they believe they can effectively reassemble within the body of a re living relative. Dodos are mostly mo are most closely related to pigeons, according to sequences of the proverbially dead birds genome so here is where things get interesting now this is as i said is the company that wants to revive the woolly mammoth in the thylacine um the woolly mammoth hasn't been around for tens of thousands of years from or something like that i think it's been, what ten thousand years ago something like that when i think when the pyramids were being built so well, the last of them were around when the pyramids were being built. And that was, what, like 4,000 years ago? Something like that. I think they're off of an island in Russia. But thylacine was has only been extinct since the 30s. I think 1936. So it hasn't been that long. There's, of course, all the sightings. Sightings. Hopefully that's true. But it is pretty cool if you ask me. I think that if we can do it i don't think it's a problem i know people um you know want to bring up the ethics of playing god but we play god so to speak every single day with the food we eat corn is not natural corn was a, a, a like a grain that looked like grass that had little kernels on it and it was bred over throughout the years to make bigger and bigger pieces of uh, shoot um broccoli cauliflower brussels sprouts um i want to say shard there's a couple other ones they're all the same plant they just are different parts of the same plant that have been bred over years and years and years to have different parts of the plant bigger so it's literally the same thing this is performing the same technique on an egg-laying bird should have less uh, be less stressful for the donor species. The researchers will be able to work with pigeon eggs and use genetic material from pigeons that can be modified to reflect key traits of the dodo, including its flightlessness. So because it's coming from an egg, it doesn't have to deal with any consequences of what could potentially happen, um, like... In development so like if you put an embryo of a or you know you gene edit um, a, a mammoth embryo in an elephant and all of a sudden there's some stuff that we're not sure of and you know maybe it grows a lot bigger than the elephant or something like that and that elephant is gonna die be, for, due to that well in an egg you know it's not once the pigeon lays the egg that's it there's nothing that they have to worry about so I can understand that same thing with the thylacine like I think they'd have to put it inside like a smaller mammal that I don't remember what kind of, I don't remember what it is, but they got to put it inside another animal. And if they do that, um, 
I mean, thylacine was the biggest predator marsupial that there, you know, that we had anywhere near our time. So it just, I can understand how there might be an, an ethical dilemma there. But the birds, not really a big thing. And also, they only lived on Mauritius. So it's not like there's places all over the world that you'd have to introduce them to. You could literally just introduce them to the island Mauritius where they're originally from and leave it at that and then send them to zoos all over the world. It's not like you'd have a problem with dodos escaping and being a thing. It would just be, hey, look, it, we kind of set things right here. I don't know. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, but they would be rewilded in Mauritius. I mean, that would be pretty cool. I think if we have the opportunity to do so, we should try to at least set things right a little bit. Because, I mean, we have all these things that are being wiped out on a daily basis. Species that are just disappearing a bit at a time. And this was, you know, taken out. I mean, this was the way that... Um, the uh, giant tortoises were going for a long, long, long time. And we were very fortunate that people stopped trying to... Um, they, they stopped before it was too late. Because there was a time when... Um, I mean, once those tortoises were gone, that was it. But And a, a few of them are gone for good. But luckily we've been able to actually stop that and get more of those tortoises out there but there was a there was a time when it didn't look like there would be any tortoises left and now look at them you know we got a long way to go with that but i think if you have the opportunity to heal these wounds so to speak to make things better to fix the problem that we did and it wouldn't really affect too terribly much i don't think that's playing god i think it's just um I don't know. The mammoth and the thylacine one, I mean, that, that comes with a little bit more uh, hardship. I mean, where would you put a mammoth? You're going to put it back in Siberia? You're going to put it in Alaska? On uh, like That's probably where they'd end up putting them is like the super northern part of Alaska and like have them caged in or something like that until they were able to you know reproduce on their own and then kind of let them go. I don't know. I honestly have no idea where you would put something like that thylacine would probably be fine and it would probably take care of their rabbit problem you know like i don't know i feel like if we can do it we should um but that is just my opinion let me know what you think down below this is a really interesting topic and i'm really excited to hear um, what you guys think because i mean as i said i think we should totally do it i don't think there's a problem with it i think it would kind of fix some of the wrongs but you never know. Let's see. It also says it could take many pregnancies in practice to create viable offspring from such a method. So yeah, they don't even know if it'll actually work. And if, but from what I've heard, this could happen in the next five years or so. So I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about you guys, but anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think below, and uh, let me know if you like this style video.